This patient was given supraclavicular approach of brachial plexus block for fracture in the shaft of the ulna. Here we use the landmark technique and the landmark was medial head of the sternocleidomastoid and the lateral head of the sternocleidomastoid we found at the lateral border of the sternocleidomastoid that is anterior groove of the interscranial muscle. At the lower end of the interscranial muscle we found the subclavian artery and just lateral there is brachial plexus just lateral to the subclavian artery. First we fix the subclavian artery with our finger and then we give a 10 cc booby baking 5% to the ipsilateral nipple and it was confirmed by the jerk at the right hand of the patient and also it was confirmed by the backflow of the neural sheet fluid which we given that is in the neural sheet and it was confirmed after giving the second 10 ml we will we'll see there is a backflow there is a backflow and and this is black flow and it is confirmed that the drug is in the intraneural sheath after that, we will give the ulnar nerve block because in the supraclavicular approach, there is common part, the ulnar nerve can be missed. That's why we gave another 10 ml of booby baking in the ulnar groove. The drug we used here, 40 ml total, including dilution. 5% booby baking was used, which was the highest toxic dose used here is uh, 2 ml per kg body weight. So we can give in this patient if we uh, hold this patient 50 kg then 100 mg is the highest maximum dose so we used here 90 mg and after that we used lidocaine that was highest maximum dose is 3 mg per kg body weight and in this patient we we uh, gave 120 mg and all was diluted by distilled water and after that we also added 2 ml of dexamethasone and 2 ml of fentanyl and the block was confirmed by the parasthesia of the right hand and the patient was confirmed that he is fully parasthetized by our drugs. Thank you.